Now it's time to get into some Python code. Now I want to highlight that this isn't just about Python. Jaeger and OpenTrace Sync support a multitude of languages. However, for the purposes of this, we will be talking about Python. This is where your Python programming skills will be useful. Let's look at what we will use. First, we'll need to import a library. Naturally, there are a myriad of libraries for using Jaeger and OpenTracing in Python. However, we will focus on the official one from Jaeger called Jaeger Client. So let's take a look at this code and see what's going on here. I'd like to point out that this is actually the code that you can see from the OpenTracing.io website. They have a lot of great tutorials. So even if you don't use Python regularly and you want to learn maybe Go or Ruby or any other language, I would recommend checking their website for some demonstrations. Now here we are creating the tracer. And as I mentioned, each trace has a span. So we're starting a span and we're calling it Get Python Jobs. Now we also create a little dictionary here of, of uh, home pages. We're going to just send some requests, general requests to this URL, which pulls up any job that's related to Python. We're going to tag the span with job counts and the length of the response. And then, of course, we're going to try to append that home pages with our results. That way, we have something to read when everything's done. Now, as this runs, it's going to continue creating spans and child spans to the site that collects all of this information. And then so we will actually get to see the duration it takes for each request to go to this site and give us some results.